we must be obedient to the teachings of Jesus. And just as faith without works is dead, is a dead faith, we see that from James chapter 2, so also faith without obedience to the teachings of Jesus is a dead faith, surely. So faith in itself is the start of our walk as Christians. Faith in God, three persons, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, acting in complete unity and harmony, but three persons with different roles. We call it God the Trinity, don't we? The triune God. We, we, our faith is in this God, the only true God. And we have faith that because we were born in sin, because we were sinners from conception even, from the time we were conceived, conceived in sin, we, and we can't do anything about that, we can't work our way to salvation, we cannot earn our salvation because it's a gift from God. We have faith that once we repent, we come to our senses and we ask God to forgive us. We ask God to change us. We have this, this faith that God is offering and we take hold of this faith and we say, Father, I've sinned. I'm a sinner. I am sinful. Please change me. Please forgive me. I want to live a new life. I want to give, in fact, my life to you so that you can lead your life through me. Please, will you come and do this? I believe and I trust, I accept that Jesus had to die on the cross to take my punishment because my badness deserved a penalty, a punishment. And so that I no longer have to be punished, the Lord Jesus took my punishment. And Lord, I say thank you. Hallelujah for that. Hallelujah for that. Please come and give me a new birth. Make me a new person, a new creation in Jesus Christ. That's our faith. But we must build on that faith, as I've mentioned several times today. We must build on that faith. We must act upon the words of Jesus. Because, to finish off, in verse 26 of Matthew chapter 7, everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act upon them, does not do them, will be like a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and burst against that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. May it never be that any of us falls with a great crash. May it never be that the whatever it is that Satan and the demonic realm and the world system brings against it, may it never be that we are severely damaged by that and certainly not destroyed. But as we give ourselves to God, continually, day by day, reading his word and putting it into practice, God will protect us. He will look after us. That's how good he is. So thank you for your attention today. Um, what I would suggest, as I, as I do, um, at the end of this meeting, um, when Ruth and I will leave you, you could discuss this maybe. Just these verses here, Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 29. You can discuss them and pray with each other that you will make a commitment to develop your faith by acting upon the words of the Lord Jesus.